why we decided to do uh, CovCT is simply because, I mean, we, we have the re these resources, right? We have people who, you know, are passionate about building great products and, and making a difference. And why we decided to do contact tracing in particular, we could have just built another site that showed stats, right? Um, but but we didn't didn't do that simply because we wanted to go in deeper and and try to understand um, the process. You know, when we, we spoke to a couple of people, you know, we read up quite a bit. And the most important thing that that you know that that the doctors use as a tool was contact tracing. So we said, okay, cool. How, how does that work? And when we went into it, um, we found that there's a lot of recall. So you know, a, a patient has to literally recall uh, weeks of, uh, you know, two weeks at least of movements and, and people that they've come in contact with or, you know, public spaces that they've been to and, and so forth, right? And and we're also seeing that a lot, I guess, across across the globe where there's a lot of clusters forming and, and, and there's no real way to, you know, get these people to come and get tested, for example. On the platform, all we have literally is an anonymized ID and the check-in, right? So it, it's, I mean, we, you know, we obviously uh, want to preserve people's privacy, and the only way uh, we can pull out that data is if we have, you know, someone from the government, for example, saying, "Hey, you know, we saw your QR code at this location, and you know, we've we've had." 15 cases or whatever, and would that be a way to reach out to the people that have been there, right? So that's when we will assist. Um, we don't give the data to the locations that put up these codes. We don't give the data to any individuals. What we will do from time to time is if there's a cluster forming at any of the locations, we will uh, highlight it in the user's profile. Uh, and if it's really serious, then we can send a notification. So we don't, uh, you know, purposefully send notifications out to people because, again, that might create mass panic, right? So, so yeah, that's that's in, in a nutshell. That's how that's how it works. I think it's 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 mostly because we wanted to give back, right? Give back to community and 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 do it. Um, hence, why it's a community based thing. Uh, because I think I think. All of us have a part to play in the, you know, in in making sure this thing goes away. Uh, simply because, you know, I mean, you know, I we we all run businesses, we all work at, at different businesses, and as much as this is somewhat going to become a a new norm, um, we do want to get back to where we were, uh, and 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 you know, because again, look look, so looking at the looking at the entire process, what. What we saw, I mean, again, right, like contact tracing is a, is a huge part of it. Um, and because of that, so if we can help with one little part, we're hope, hoping that, you know, we can we can help contain the spread together and and, and you know, allow allow folks to go back out and, and you know, play in the parks and, and do all of that stuff. <laughs> For developers that are looking to do something um, in these times, um, look look at trying to collaborate with 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 the um, you know because right now there's there's tons of solutions. So instead of building yet another one and you know another solution somewhere, um, as much as it's great, uh, I think I think we we don't want to be duplicating efforts, right? Because I think I think we you know holistically everyone if everyone did did things together we would we would end up in a much better place.